What's going on everybody? Fetter here from 3D Print SOS. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Bamboo Lab AMS system. I have two in front of me here. This one being the very original. Companies are still, till this day, trying to make their own version of this for their machines. This thing set a uh, high example in quality and what's possible just in general and compact and just what an AMS unit, what a material unit should be like if it's gonna sit on top of the printer. This thing was a game changer. Then recently, uh, there's a new AMS uh, unit by Bamboo Lab called the AMS2 Pro. And this one in particular has a heating unit inside, which means it allows you to buy one unit to manage your multicolor, to manage up to four materials in each box, and also uh, dry them when they're not in use. And that's amazing because then you don't have to remove your spools, put them into another device, heat them there, take them out, put them back in. It definitely helps a lot. However, there's some limitations, even though this box just in general is just better than this one in a lot of different ways. A lot of li little creature comforts that have been improved on this machine. You do still have to remove the filament out of the PTFE tubes inside of this unit in order to heat the filament. However, the upside uh, there is you get to use the Bamboo Labs a, a UI uh, and uh, manage it all through there. So it makes all of that even through the app uh, it makes all of that part uh, of it just fantastic. And it's a great unit just in general. However, there is a lot more of these original AMS units uh, in circulation. Uh, and with these coming out and people switching to these, they're gonna be getting rid of their old AMS units. And let me tell you, these things are no slouch. Uh, in their own right. And there's a lot of new products coming out there that aim to integrate some of the features here, improve upon them, and add them to your original AMS. And I am all about modifying something that you've had for a little while, something older, bringing up to speed, keeping it out of landfill or shipping all over the place, all that. So this is fantastic news. So let's jump right away into the first version of what I'm talking about here. And that's the Sunlu. AMS dryer. And what this essentially is, is a powered lid. It gets its own separate power in the back right over here. If you're familiar with Sunlu products, it has their display. So you're going to be familiar with it right away. By the way, this is a prototype uh, unit. So the colors are going to be changing for the uh, unit that actually comes out. Uh, let me throw it right on here. I have the lid already off and it just uh, attaches to the same uh, OEM uh, uh, four screws, makes it really easy to install. So there you go, it just sits on top. You open it just like the regular one, put your filament in, but you are getting two powerful fans, two powerful heaters, and a control module for humidity and heat, uh, as well as these uh, large uh, uh, exhaust uh, ports on the back. So the idea of this is you have a standalone heating unit for all of your filament, put whatever you want in there, start it up, vent it so all the heat comes out of it uh, along with all the moisture, it gets sucked out of the filament and you're good to go. You can still be printing with your machine that's managing your filament. And while it's doing that, you can go ahead and use this uh, unit to dry the filament in there. It's brilliant. It takes the idea that Bamboo Lab he had here to integrate this and kind of turns it to the next level and yet lets you keep your original AMS. I love it. So definitely check this one out if you guys want the simple option. However, if this doesn't seem like it's enough for you to want to upgrade your AMS, well, here's where IBOS comes in. Check this out. This is a prototype of the IBOS Dias. And this takes that idea of the Sunlu even to the further level. As you can see here, we have two separate chambers, two separate heating elements and units with fans right over here. Let me install this onto the machine because the installation is just a little bit uh, more uh, difficult than the other one. And you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about. Let's go. All right, and just like that, the Dias system is installed. And it's basically a few acrylic parts on the bottom. You run some wires uh, from uh, the screens uh, to the two modules in the back and you have your unit. Obviously a little bit more substantial of an install than just adding a lid, 
but you, you get the two separate climate zones that are fully controllable. And here's the beauty. There's not only the fact that these things heat and give you two separate chambers. They actually also have acrylic pieces that separate the inside of the AMS into two separate units as well, not just uh, the lid. But they're also mechanical um, uh, ventilation on the back. So as soon as you start to use this thing, there are literally motors here that lift this up, the fans pull in fresh air and they exhaust out old hot air, which means you're actually getting rid of the moisture that's in these chambers. There's also really smart features. Like for example, once you end up selecting your desired uh, temperature and uh, humidity level, it will keep it. So the filament that sits in your AMS unit with the uh, dia system on there will automatically regulate its humidity. That's fantastic. That takes this whole thing to the utmost next level. It's something that they can do with software, but you still cannot have the filament spools going in. Whereas this being completely standalone means the AMS gets to be the AMS that it always has been and is, but you also get this powerhouse of a heater and dehumidifier uh, on top of it. It still locks in place. Uh, this is actually the newest acrylic version. Like I said, there's a prototype. The color of this will not be like this, but you do have this little lid. Uh, and it's just, it's just a really, really cool device. It really takes this thing to the next level. It's like having three separate devices in one. But here's what's crazy. IBOS apparently didn't stop there. They also gave us the Tetris. Let me show you that. All right, so this is the IBOS Tetris. This is also a prototype unit uh, of one of these devices, but as you can see, it is all installed. If you can't already tell what they've done is they have four very individual chambers for your filament inside, which means every single lane in your AMS now has its own individually controlled uh, and maintained lane for filament. What this also means is that means you can have your ABS going to 65 here, your PETG, your PLA, and your TPU all in the same AMS unit, all being regulated uh, for uh, temperature and humidity levels automatically by one of these devices. And, and here's the cool part. You might think, man, this is a lot sitting on top of your machine. I want to print some PLA. I want this thing to be vented as much as possible. I want to take off the top, li top lid. Well, they have a hinge system that's printable and easily attachable so that you can do just that. Reach in here, remove your glass, set this thing down. Everything still functions and works. It's almost like they thought about everything on this thing. And it's, uh, it's just a fantastic thing if this is something you're interested in. All right, back to the desk. Man, I love to have choices and also really good sponsors. Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. They're an amazing resource for anything 3D printed, injection molded, CNC machining, the list goes on and on and on. Check out PCBWay.com for an amazing and extensive list of resources and services that they provide, and also a community tab where you can check out other projects by other makers, and you can purchase the projects and everything that you need for them right there, not just PCBs. It, the list goes on and on with everything they do, and I guarantee you, just like I was surprised, you will be surprised by how reasonable the pricing is. So check out PCBWay and thank you PCBWay for sponsoring this video. I really, really, like I mentioned, love being able to take something that I've had for a while and really familiar with and bring it up to the next level. And all of these devices definitely do that. As you can see, I got both these running right now. Obviously this one's not attached, they're just on top so I can show this to you. But as you can see, the screen is running and this box, the Sunlu box, does go to 70C, which is important to note, whereas the both the Tetris units go up to 65. They just have a bit more, a bit more brains, a bit more modular uh, than this. However, the simplicity of this unit is uh, not to be understated. Uh, it is obviously much easier to put on four screws and have this, you know, really powerhouse of a heater on top of your AMS, whereas this really breaks it down and lets you do different multi-materials inside of there, uh, different chambers. It gets a little bit more involved and a little bit more 
particular. So if you guys like any of these devices and would like to make a purchase, please consider using my affiliate links down below. They do give the channel a small kickback just for the reference for to bring you guys to their storefronts. No money was exchanged hands. These guys sent me these things just for a review video. And I usually tend to dig up as many cons as I possibly can while I test these things. And over months of complete and utter just general use of all three of these, I couldn't really find many that I already didn't list. The only things I could really say is all three of mine were uh, prototype units and they have some finishing that's not necessarily pretty, but I've been informed by both Sunlu and Ibos that these things are just prototypes and the final ones will look much closer to something like this crispy AMS 2 Pro. All right, everybody, I think that's all for me for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, enjoyed this quick showcase of these awesome products. And as always, I'll see you all in the comments. Later.